I'm going to show you how to remove extensions in your web browser. Over the years, there have been a lot of extensions out there that ended up being malware, like this one right here, Clean Master, which promised to clean your Google Chrome cache and your history and all that stuff. And yeah, it was featured by Google and a lot of people installed it. And it ended up being malware that was uh, stealing people's data. And that's how these things work. Now, this most recent one, the reason why I'm on this is because they found one that was playing the long game from a group of uh, uh, people that were putting these extensions out. And there's one that's still out there called WeTab. This guy is still inside of the uh, Chrome extension store and the Microsoft extension store. And what it's doing is it's hijacking people's data and it's sending it to third party servers. Now, I've gotten a number of calls over the year where people are like, man, I've got malware on my computer. It's making it to where I go to this specific website and like, I don't recognize this search bar. It's an extension. Almost all the time, it ends up being an extension. And a general rule of thumb is that if anything says that it's going to clean up your computer or fix your computer or any of that such nonsense or speed it up, it's probably bunk, especially if it's free and you should definitely uninstall it. So here we are in Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna to come here, three dots, go to extensions, go to manage extensions, and you can simply turn off extensions in order to test and see if you need them and turn them back on if you do need them. If you don't need them, you can just click on the remove tab. Quick note about removing an extension. Sometimes after you remove an extension, a web page will pop up asking you to fill out a form saying like, hey, why did you decide to remove this? And yada, yada, yada. You don't have to fill that out. You can just close out of it. Like they don't give them any more of your data, especially if you don't recognize the extension. And yeah, here's that we tab extension that's still inside of the store that is apparently not uh, not too good. So three dots, extensions, manage extensions, remove the ones that you don't need. And then in Firefox, uh, in Firefox, they still say extensions, but most of them refer to them as add ons. Anyway. Uh, three lines come down here to extensions and themes. Here's all of your extensions. You can tell that I use Firefox the most. Uh, I like it better. It's just better than Chrome. All right. Anyway, that is how you do it. Please do not install extensions that you uh, don't recognize and uninstall the ones that you don't recognize. And whenever you're installing new software, especially freeware, uh, be aware of those little check boxes down at the bottom that say, hey, install this extension as well. Do you want to install this on your web browser? Don't just blindly click next whenever you're installing stuff. That's how this stuff happens. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions or any concerns, hey, man, reach out in the comments below or uh, hit me up on my website, txtechnician.com.